Hey guys, welcome back. This is Friday app, so it's time to check out some new Android stuff. Anyways, I'm just trying to show you a new launcher. So after five to six months, I'm just trying to change to the new launcher as of now. So the currently that I'm using is the Lean launcher, so as you can see on the Galaxy S9 Plus. It just works great. It has all the feature that is there on the Android Oreo based Pixel 2 launcher that you can get by default on the Pixel phones only exclusively. But the only problem with that launcher is that I, there is a no kind of a backup restore feature now you might be thinking why uh, this is a big deal so it may not be a big deal for you but for me it is a big deal here is the one for example on the pixel phones i have all these layouts and uh, all the speed test setup which i'm using from two years from now and all this launcher settings things so making this you know every line icons this chrome shortcut it is too difficult for me it takes a lot of time at least 10 to 15 minutes it waste for me i need to do a lot of resets to my device this could be my condition or maybe for your conditions too so just for your reference this is your old uh, launcher launcher which is still based on the original first pixel phones not the pixel second generation phone so it don't have this uh, google now feed but you can just download and install uh, one this lawn feed 1.2 the latest version once you install that thing you can easily get this google now feed i'm sure it should work so i guess it is there already on the latest alpha version that i'm going to show you here because this thing should work and uh that's how it should come so just for reference you can just use and just going to show you side by side comparison with the original pixels 2 phone so it has the google now feed enabled this is the alpha version going inside the settings so you can see here so all these feature whatever you are seeing here on this uh, pixels 2 you have this thing here like here you can see notification dot feature is also there and uh, you can customize the grid side like how much you want just an instance this is the five icons you can you know have on most on your desktop you can change the grid size number if you want icon scale you can make the icons bigger and smaller you can control the width widgets too back here next this is your theme which is most important and this is the default thing which is there on the pixel launchers too along with that it can take your icon pack too in case you're using this is most important by default uh, on the pixel phone this is on the auto that means based on your current wallpaper it will change the background theme of the app drawer also here you can see this is currently white so this will change based on the current theme but here you can completely make it dark here so it should look like that thing here for example this is a complete uh, dark background and you can make this thing complete dark and here also this is black dark so this kind of effect let me show you here if i just make it currently dark you can see everything is just now complete dark here also app drawer this is completely dark so this is the main thing that's why i say this is the best feature of this launcher and you can also blur the in case you want to just blur this dock head you can see now this is completely blurred theme is changed blur is you can control the blur amount next we have the dock area you dock style dock feature dock opacity i have made my dock this transparent you may have noticed that thing just to match the things with the pixels too and uh, you can just go there and uh, inside this dock you control the opacity how do you, how much do you want show arrow like you see on this uh, original pixels to launcher there is an arrow i have enabled the arrow too you can control the number of icons you want in dock this is a five icons you can change stuff right now it's just five here so cancel that and uh, rest we have this is the main feature i was talking about you can create a backup here say i want i have installed this launcher here and i'm going to just soon just move everything all the launcher settings all the icon from here to this phone i will simply install the alpha one here i will simply transfer this backup file to here via cloud via any way whatever you can do so you can just create backup it will store on the device document storage just type anything whatever you want i'm sure in the future it should have some kind of a, you know a cloud storage feature so far it is working great only bug i have seen like i'm not able to see this location sorry this uh, temperature event here maybe this is alpha like i mentioned it could have some kind of possible bug so hopefully in the beta 2 or in the public version in the final version they should be fixed one feature i'm missing in this launcher is this double tap to lock feature which is very very important feature so guys that's the uh, launcher launcher version 2 that is going to come and it's pretty nice launcher there is another launcher called as an ev launcher you can try that thing but there is a no google now feed so for me google now feed is very important i try to read news most of the times in a day just to get informations here and there so there it is guys this is your friday applications so thank you so much for watching this is Saurabh. i'll catch you guys in the next video very soon till then have a great day